All right. So the sister, a sister just brought to my attention. That's why you cannot do a half-assed job when you take on something. And this is why I, I, I turned my own home into the same thing I would turn a company. Everybody have their roles. Not stepping over the other's authority. If your job is to pay the rent, this is what you do. No one should tell you how to do it or whatever. As long as you do it, do it well. If that child's job is to do, to, to clean the dishes every day, so no one needs to tell them because I'm raising bosses. You see what I'm saying? Around me is boss. So you're not the boss unless you need someone to tell you what to do. So if you don't like to be told what to do, therefore you're a boss. So live by doing what you need to do and what you're supposed to do without someone having to tell you. So what it is, it's like I spoke. And then I know that sometimes we try to use the few times that we can afford to give for free out there and stuff like this. Because we have to spend the energy, the true money, which is our own voices, which is what creates anyway. So the thing is like you have to share it with the world, whether you're getting something out of it or not. But the purpose is that you're going to get, if you are really about the true picture, then you know at the end of the day, you're going to get something out of it anyway. What is it that you're going to get is a better world. You see? So what more than a better world can you expect? So the thing is like, as I spoke and I know I may miss something, I may have more to say. And sometimes if you say, well, no, that's why certain people were write on one topic a whole volume of books. Why? Because not, not, Really, it's not always as black and white to just come with a few sentences, a few paragraphs, and they're thinking that you explain yourself. Yes, indeed, to some people, if it, they are so open that even your silence speaks to them. And then, lesser than that, there are some people, they are so open that one word will tell them everything they need to understand. There are some people, a sentence, some people, a paragraph, some people like uh, a chapter. Some people whole books, some people values. We are all different. Vibrating at different levels on different uh, levels of consciousness. So this is why when we speak, we have to say the most and the most efficient ways. So the sister made me recognize, and since I'm not a fool, then I have to recognize my mistake. I have to see that, yeah, I need to speak on more on that. Because she just said this morning that to read what I just post, uh, so I didn't forget. I wrote, I posted as the topic of this as I understand the power of words, as they may hold potential to build worlds. I have been speaking of women empowerment lately, because I know of the world where women are in power. We can experience abundance, bliss, joy, color, and all that a matrix has to offer. Uh, but a sister mentioned in a statement that made me realize that my work on the topic cannot be complete until we explain what women are we talking about. She said, and I quote, women have controlled the world and messed up just like men. True. So I take heed and come to be clear. Thank you, sister Desi Wegaby for the inspiration and clarification. So, the thing is like I recognize the mistake, but making mistakes does not make you a fool. What makes you a fool is when someone see the mistake, but you refuse to acknowledge it or something. Acknowledge the mistake. That's what a fool is. So I don't wanna be a fool, either by words or by actions. So what it is, is just I had to come and continue. But to tell you the truth, that's not what I wanted to do. As you can see, it's a beautiful day in, uh, in New York City. It's not something you get all, uh, every day. The whole week was very cold. So now is the day for me to really be out and enjoy myself and take a sun bath or something. But the work is important. Time is not on our side. So we have to make sure we focus on what, what the priority is. So I need to make sure that I came and clear myself. Because the sister, as the woman, speaking against her own self, 
And this is what mastery is. When truth is going to always be spoken even if it is against you. You see? So she's a woman, but she recognized the, 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 the flaw in the words that we are forcing the world, the women, in the seat of power. Because she knows her weakness and she knows her strength. And she's not here to prove herself nothing to no one. So therefore she stands on truth. So I must follow suit. So what it is, is like, though we say women, because we know how it is, like we know the ego, if our words say women empowerment, ego is going to want to go around with women empowerment. Now everybody's going to start talking about it, whether they know what they're talking about or not. And then causing more problems than, each, and than else. Because as we know already, there is women empowerment movement out there. Like the, 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 the feminist movements, per se. And one asked me once, what, is, what, what, is, what are your thoughts? Those that already understand my mind, those that are great in themselves, already know who they talk to when they understand the capacity of the, the being that they're speaking to. They get to ask questions because they know questions doesn't make you not knowing. Questions just show that you sometimes you need to understand who you're talking to. That's why you ask questions sometimes. If the ego doesn't allow us, give yourself an excuse to ask questions. So the thing is what? The thing is basically when the great one asked me what my thoughts are on feminism, it was simple to answer. And I'd say the same thing you see the men used to do when they used to kill the witches, the women with the power of not, uh, the knowledge of, of, the, of, of nature, because they felt threatened by it. And then they had to destroy. That was the masculine movement, we can call it. And then the feminine movement is only the other spectrum of the same. It's an imbalanced feminism because they come in at, they, most of the time, we become our oppressors and then the women became their oppressors and this is the feminist movement today. So, because that's, if you don't know yourself as you are leaving the oppressor, you won't know who to be except mimicking, being a mirror picture of your oppressor. And this is the feminist movement. Why? Because, like the sisters say, when we say empowerment, if we don't make it clear, then who we give more voices to is those that were doing the work in the first place, the feminist movement. But we know there's flaws in the feminist movement. Why? Because they became their oppressors. They did not become women. Instead, they wanted to be a better man than their oppressors. But we can never be strong except in our own shoes, in our own pants. Just like the ego will pick up the snake and fight it in the air because he recognizes its flaws on the ground because the ground is the snake turf. So the women that will call another woman to be a better man than the man is calling to destruction to the women. Why? Because the woman should think like the, like the ego. Don't become a better man because the man is the man already you can never be a better man than the man instead become the better version of yourself and bring forth your own power that power that he doesn't have your power is his weakness and his weakness is your power it's just the way it is so when the sisters say that I see that, yes, I need to speak on it again. Take the time and waste it online again, once more. So the thing is like, okay, I would say the women, we are saying to give forth the seat of power. is the woman who is balanced within herself. The woman who, is, who doesn't seek to become a man. It's the woman that recognizes her power. And then I was reading something today that a sister shared of a brother who answered to his wife when the wife was asking him, what do you think of me? And she continues with the answer, 
like putting the words in the husband's mouth. Like, okay, do, when you look at me, do you see a, a powerful woman who's not afraid to go out there and, and, and provide for herself and do this, do that? And the husband listened, and after she's done, he said, I heard your ego tell me what to say about you. I heard that. But I'm not going to be fake to you. I'm just going to keep it real with you. And then she, he said to her that, I see a woman in a world where she doesn't belong. In a world where to be herself seems like a weakness and something to be discarded. Now, because of that, she is forced to put on a mask and to be a man because the men are running things. So she had to show her manhood in order to be relevant. And then at the same time, she cannot misery being in misery. And misery loves company. So she partner with other women in the same misery, acting like they're all happy and powerful and independent. When in fact, they really, when they take off the high heels at night, they wish they were dead. You see? So the thing is like, this is who I see the husband say. And then the lady understood and she, she probably cried. They did not share that. But I know women. Because when you speak truth to women, the heart responds with tears and stuff. Sometimes they will fight it depending how much of a man they have become. Because like Sadhguru said to someone that also shared something to me about women again. Is that Sadhguru, we reveal Sadhguru because this brother is one of the wise ones amongst us. The guidance, the light. So what it is, he say that when a world is based on money, of course the women is, are, are going to have to become men. Because when you give the one side of, of the energy too much power, then they're going to feel like they have to overstep on the other side, which is the women. So the men create money and the man is the one running the show. So women, in order to be relevant, again, the same thing, they're going to have to become a man. So in a world where money is the boss or where money is God, then women got to become men. So for those who are cursing a lesbian, there goes our issues again. We are the creators of the lesbian. So the thing is basically, is that... And this is why I stood so strong against the brothers who are pushing money as God, though they may not understand. So it's not because we hate money, it's not because we don't understand having beautiful cars or being able to show the woman you can afford a diamond ring, or that's not what we're saying. We understand the power in that. But the thing is basically, do we really want a world where we have to turn the women into men? Because who really want to feel subservient to anyone when they recognize that they are being subservient to a monkey or a stupid man? Because women really don't give a fuck, excuse my French, about money in reality. Although we, they, they may seem that that's what it is. They love luxury, not money. They love happiness, not money. They love joy. They love beauty, not money. We make money the only thing that can get these things. But money is not what is these days. So women give no fuck about money. We can prove it every day. I can come to your woman being the pool boy. And not being a better than you as the husband. And she think about me when every time you touch her. She may even take your money and bring to me. You see? So let's not lie to ourselves. It's not going to help us. And if we cannot help ourselves, then we cannot help women. So thereby we are useless to them like they are calling it to us in our faces every day. So it's a mistake we make when we keep forcing ourselves to pretend that money is shit. Money make the world go round. Or something like this. Those are mistakes when we repeat every day and dumb stuff we are saying all the time. And this is why before I come at you, like I say, it's not the first time. I'm not saying anything that I have not recognized at 10 years old. I knew that since young. But before I could do anything, because I didn't have a father to ask or no mothers, and I asked my own guide, my own angel, what to do then? The best thing, they couldn't tell me what to do, because that's not what masters do. Therefore, they say experience money then, chase it like everyone else.
And if you feel that, that it is what it is, then submit to it. But if you recognize that as monkeys only think that's, that, that, that is what it is, then by all means, unless you want to be one of the monkeys, do not bow to it. And this is why I say, okay. But in the end, I recognize it is not the money that is the monkey that is the problem, but it is our perspective of it. And it is how much power we give it. Do we understand what it is? Do we think that it is the power, or do we think it's just a medium to the power? You see? So understanding is everything. It's key. So it's because of that, as I already proved you, that women give no fuck. Therefore, we shouldn't worry about the money too much, except we should worry about ourselves. And I said yesterday that if we can be the payment to, to, uh, to, the, to a nation's debt, then that already is staring in our faces that we are the money. Because no nation wants to accept dollars or good or yen or whatever you have to offer that the nations among themselves, within themselves, accept as a currency. But no other nation, unless they're part of that same nation, they don't want to accept it. So what do they accept is you and I. Because you and I are the money whether you recognize it or not. And this is why I may hurt you sometimes, only to make you recognize that what you worship is what you have created. The creator started to worship the creation when you are the one to, deserving to be worshipped. So if you give praise where it is not due, then there's a problem. If you give credit where it is not due, then there is a problem. Sometimes it's not, it's not that we want your credit because it doesn't serve you, therefore it can serve us. But we just want to make sure that the energies are really circulating properly so that things may work Otherwise, our words, those who understand better, will come, back, will come back void. Because somebody is not doing their part. The thing is, that's why I told my own children that sometimes it's not the teacher that is a bad, a bad teacher. Sometimes it may be the student that is a, a bad student. You see? So that's what we mean, that we may do the speak, the speaking and the, uh, the thing that we need to do but if you're not responding properly with your own action, because we're all in this together, then my word may come back voice. Not because my words were not good enough, but it's because they were not connected to any open heart or to any bright minds or to anything that is living. It hits a wall, a dying being. Therefore, they cannot grow seeds. So it is not me that is spoken the wrong words it is the, those that are listening are dead obviously so the thing is basically I want to make sure okay a goddess among us is saying Vivi Alensi welcome my sister for coming here I've learned so much from you and I can't wait to, to help and assist you in bringing your music to the front so the thing is basically, she said, when females and males come into balance with one another, within themselves, indeed, thank you, exactly. It is the balance woman, basically. So this is who we are talking about when we say give the women. Not the woman who, who couldn't stand being a woman, no. Because she has become an oppressor, the problem again. Not that one. Not the one who is the woman but is too weak and cry and kill herself and one another. It's the one that may seek asylum, the one that may just go into a cocoon because not because she couldn't handle being, but she hit being fake or being that man that she don't want to be, a half man. So the thing is basically, this is the woman that can bring that. And this is why a man like myself, I cannot look onto a woman that can have money because she knows how to make money. I might as well just get with another man, in truth. Because there's no difference, you see? I cannot get with a woman also who may, may not have or may have together the same, but worship money and cannot see a world without money. I can't deal with that. That's not the woman that can bring abundance. You see, where I'm at, on my level, to tell you the truth, the woman that can fit is the one that sees potential in herself, like I did myself. 
is the woman that can see, you see, the, the problem that comes from money, not because of money, but because of how we sing money. You see? It's a woman that will pick up the poor man on the street and not being afraid by who he is now, except that she believes in her own eyes and her own guts and she sees potential and she pick him up off the ground. Just like Aisha, radiallahu anha, in Islamic literature, picked up Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, and made him her husband, not because he was rich, because she was rich and he was just a man but with a lot of potential. That's why today many of us worship Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. This is the woman that can turn a man into a, something that transcends time, into a Muhammad. You see what I'm saying? And Muhammad, Mu meaning it's, it's what, it's a prefix that would mean D. You see? And then after that he would say Muhammad, or Hamid means the praise or praised worthy. Or you would say Muhammad would mean in Arabic the one worthy of praise. That's what it's a title more than it is a name. So the thing is basically to be that praiseworthy, because like we always say, behind every great man is a woman. And the woman that can be that one that brings that peace, that new world that of abundance and joy and beauty and color and everything, is that woman that will not feel threatened when you say, oh, behind every great man is a woman. It's the woman that will understand that, yes, behind is where I am, but I'm running the show. Not that, oh, I'm next to him. Why can't I be next to it? It's not that woman yet. She's the, getting there because she accepted behind, now graduated to next, and then to wanting to be the front. And then now to recognize the power in being behind, just like I recognize the power in being in the back of the car, enjoying the view when the children want the front. And the same when you see every boss, because I've been trying to instill these things in the minds of Facebook for a long time. I don't know who was paying attention, who was alive at that time. So the thing is that I say, when a great person is in a car, do they feel happy to be in the front because they want to show that their car? Or do they sit all the way in the back because that's where the power is? So this is why the woman who sees that she has to be next to is still have yet to learn about herself. Because it is not in no position other than your own that you're going to have the power. But you have to recognize the power in your position behind that man. Because when we want to push our sons to great heights, where do we stand as mothers behind them to push them? Because how can you push them the side? You can only... When you stand aside someone, you can only push them off the cliff, destroy their light or something. But behind them, you have no choice but to push them forward or pu to pull them back if you don't know who you are. So the woman that can bring that joy and that abundance is the woman that recognizes the power in, the, in standing behind the king, standing behind the son, standing behind the husband. Because in reality, like Obama, next president said, I am, yes, the president, but my president is my wife. You may not see her in the seat, but I'll answer to her. And she's proud to be where she is. It's the type of woman I'm talking about. So I really thank the sister for saying this, because if she did not say this, I would not come and say that to you, because I, I thought I said everything. I thought, okay, I'm done. This is it. But she made me recognize the flaw in my word. Because if you say something and one thing is missing, because even the cake, if you're baking a cake and you miss one ingredient, or you add too much of one ingredient, not going to enjoy that cake. So the same way I may say, yes, women empowerment, but everybody was calling women empowerment since Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. The Moors already started universities for women alone around the world like centuries ago. Yet the women are still struggling to be themselves. 
So it is not only women empowerment. It's explaining what women are you talking about. So thank you, Sister Deesi. And Deesi means goddess, for those who don't know in French. So if I say goddess, I'm only saying her name. So thank you for saying that to me and make me recognize the flaws in my, in, in my, in my teaching and in my words, in my lecture, in myself. So as a person who is not a fool, so I don't want to say wise because I know sometimes if I say wise, I may step on some toes and some people may not like that I call myself wise because to them they may think if I say I'm wise, it only means that they are not. So as a mercy to these men, I say I'm not a fool. So the thing is basically, so therefore not being a fool, I accept Sister Deis's advice. So this is why I'm here today against my own will. So the thing is like basically it was my job because it was my words. Yeah? Because I understand it's true because no problem happens and these women now they want to do this, they want to do the men's job to the point where a lot of them lose the power to create children because they became so masculine that they can't even have children anymore. Because it's not about what you're wearing. If you wear skirts, if you lay with men or women, it's not what makes you a woman or not. You see? Because you may be, still be able to do these things, but if the mind is not the mind of a woman, then you, you're still not going to have the power of a woman. And therefore you only can you know, project the man's world and reinforce the man's world, the same world that is suppressing you. And then thereby causing the planet not to experience bliss like it was intended. You see? So it is that woman. You see, that's why I came basically briefly to, to explain that. Because I know by saying that if I leave it half heartedly, many of these women will be like, You're not teaching me anything new. Look, I already I already knew my power. I bought that house on my own. No man ever helped me. Look, I have my own business. I already was there. You were talking about these soft women out there, not me. Taking pride in being a man and not even knowing it. Why? Because they don't know a man. How would they know when they're being a man? So if they don't know men, how they can raise their sons as men? You see what I'm saying? So it's a problem connecting itself like everywhere together. It's a whole thing like a web of a spider all connected. You see? So the thing is, everything that we say we can do is possible. We have everything. We have the whole recipe. But someone got to know how much of each ingredient must be put in order to have the perfect cake. And this is what that is. It's not just about women empowerment. It's what type of women are we empowering? Because it's more than black and white, this woman, you know what I mean? There's a specific type, meaning there's a specific amount of this ingredient. You see, so it's the woman that wants to be behind the man. Because you see, Egypt taught us that already. This is what the stones will speak in the end. You just got to pay attention to the stones and they will tell you what was working. So the thing is that you will find the, the queen behind the king. A few step, like one step or half a step behind, supporting his back. Because, like I say, when you have a driver, there's a difference between a driver and a chauffeur. Just because the driver is in the driver's seat does not mean he's the one that dictates where the car goes. That's what I made a video about that. If I shared it recently. And I was trying to explain to a woman that I was, you know, basically dating at the time. Because, you know, she, you know, did not recognize the power of women on her own way. But she sees it as the majority is projecting it. Like the, the feminist movement, basically. Thereby, because she has been hurt, because this, that, a lot have happened. So she expected to be that man and she don't want to allow a man to tell her where to go or something. So I made that video specifically for her, explaining to her when the true man or the divine masculine is trying to tell you where to go, that's why it's not always the action, it's the intention. It's not the same as when the ego is telling a woman where to go. 
The divine masculine is only basically being the footstool for you to cross the dirty mud or the river so that you can step over to your side of your power. And when you reach there, he will bow and let you sit on that seat. Not, he's not leading you so he can be your king. He's leading you so you can be his queen. Meaning the one who caused the shot. You see? But it's hard to see the difference because it's, not, it's nowhere to be found. And this is why it's important that people like, who understand life like myself to speak. And this is why words is the beginning of worlds or the creators of worlds. And whether we understand that yet or not, it is what it is. So the thing is basically, is the woman basically that I would, you, like Egypt would show you, the woman would support the back, would hold the back of the pharaoh. She's like close to next to him enough for people to see that she's there and part of this not that she wouldn't feel better being behind them because really in reality the woman is the moon you see her shine is very dim she don't want to be loud she don't care about being loud she's not the woman that you see how they have to be loud is a different type of woman you see what i mean the the, the true feminine you see, and when I say a different type, I'm not saying that it's wrong because she is what she's supposed to be. Like Till Swan Sw Sw said something yesterday and I had to, as a man, I had to bow because she said sometimes, like when I'm speaking about divine masculine, divine feminine, not just a few words going to make people understand because they're far removed from what divine is. So I have to explain more. You see, so that's why she see also Till Swan, the mistake in my words maybe, whether directly or indirectly. Because once the words are spoken, whether she knows or not, that's why we say sometimes, I don't know who needs to hear this, but that was a thought. So maybe she heard me or maybe she, the ancestors used the vessel or, the, or mine to raise the, 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 the idea because they know I'm not dead, I'm going to take heed. So I, take, I took heed. She said that the man cannot really come and explain what the divine feminine is supposed to be like. And it's so true. Because I'm not here to explain why I'm not a woman. Though I may, my feminine aspect may show to the point where sometimes people ask me if I'm gay. You know. You know but you have to be... If you don't know what a man is, you're going to ask yourself questions. You don't know what to expect when the man is being the man. You can't just point your finger and understand a man, just like you can't point the finger to understand a woman, if he's being balanced or something, or if she's being balanced. Because the divine masculine is as complex as the divine ma feminine. Why? Because his femininity is in balance with his masculinity. He's always going to have that feminine showing when it needs to be, regardless of what men think. You see? And this is why I started a movement of pushing strollers, basically. Because I didn't see it around. And I was a father proudly pushing the stroller because I felt that we as men, every time I get ridiculed when I push the stroller. I get ridiculed when I'm in the kitchen. I get ridiculed when I'm being what a woman supposedly is supposed to be. So I recognize that there's no men. Because there's nothing about the woman that is to be ridiculed. If she feeds you, food is your medicine. If she console you, sometimes running the show may, may take a toll on your life. Her being soft means a lot to you. So you shouldn't ridicule softness. Are you a soft nigger? Monkeys speaking. You, again, you should not ridicule the woman for wanting to be home and, pro and just teaching those children, if she can teach those children, then therefore she deserves to be home with the children. She can be out unless she's not really a woman enough to raise children, and she will recognize that in, herse in herself. My whole life taught me all of this, my own experience. That's why I do not curse any part of my life, because I only see blessings, nothing to curse. So the thing is basically, there's nothing in the woman to take for... That's why the women don't want to be women. Because the monkey man, the half man, is out there thinking everything is to be ridiculized. 
is to be taken for granted, is to make the woman feel less than herself, out of place. How can, uh, the masculine in her that exists, you, the little monkey that you are that exists in her, is always going to come forth and cease to be a woman because who wants to be ridiculed? You see, who wants to be taken as a joke? So we cannot blame the sisters. We can only blame ourselves. You see, because all the time we keep thinking what makes a man is this, that, that. I don't even want to go back to that. I already spoke on that. But the thing is like we were being wrong. There was no man, like I said, again, no man whatsoever. I'm sorry if anyone ever felt like a man. You were, but not as that's more not more than a man than the women are proving to be. You see, we need to be more than what the women are proving to be as men. Because if it is provision that makes me a man, then women are doing that sometimes better than some men. Because some women are getting money a minute that some men are getting a, a year. So in reality, who is the man if money is what weighs the man? So I, do, I know I'm here to make you recognize your flaws, make you recognize your mistakes and the stupidity we are regurgitating on it every day and not knowing it. And then me, who knows better, my heart is just dying. Why? Because I don't know what to do no more. It's like stupidity prevails. You see? So the thing is basically... It is basically that man that I'm talking about. You see? It's that man. I mean that woman. And the one that lose herself or lost herself, she still has that one inside her. But the only one that can bring her back is the real man. And this is why I was writing a movie five, six, or seven or ten years ago, I'd say. Let's push it to ten. That was like my third script or something. So what was it about? Our, my, the story that movie was is like a woman who was, uh, that became gay. But as she became gay, she, she, she took a friend. She, she had a friend, a man friend, but that man friend fell in love with her, with who she is in the spirit, not as she's portraying to be, but the true her when the lights are off. So what it is basically, that man now wants to turn her to, back to a woman so she, he can marry her. It was a big fight. That was a script I wrote. I lost that script because I lost, I lost that computer and I did not save it in emails or something like this, but I still have it because it was my own. So the thing is basically, the end of the movie was that the woman became that, that woman. She gave up to the masculinity. It was raining, fighting him, cursing him. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, you have hurt me before. Many men, every man I gave a chance. You know what I mean? Hurt me and this and that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you're now coming at me, trying to play me just to prove to your little ego that you can turn a... A, a woman that is gay into a, a woman again, whatever. Fuck you with that. You think you know, can play me, blah, blah, blah. And the man is like, I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm here and I love you for who you are. I don't, stay gay if you want. And then they will fight and it started raining. And their clothes getting wet and they're still fighting, cursing. And the man is taking the punches and it's just there. I'm, I'm not going to give up. I want you and that's it. You see what I mean? And let, at least don't give up on men. At least give me a chance to prove to you we're not all stupid. We're not all proud of money, of being money makers. We're not all proud of being egoistic, egoistically driven. You see, and she was fighting herself, fighting him. But indeed, she was fighting herself. And that was the last scene of the movie. Until she started banging on his chest and the rain is pouring hard. And then she's like, leave me alone. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I'm not, you're turning me against my own self. I, it takes me uh, much to be who I am today. The success that I have achieved now, I'm respected. I have books. I do this. I did this on my own. And now you're doing this to me. Stand against the, the, the one that I've created, the image I created for myself in the world. 
Why are you crumbling my words and you telling me you love me? Blah, blah, blah. Cursing, cursing, fighting, fighting. And then she's begging until she started crying and just hugged them and let go. And accepted to be loved by the man. And then that man just went on, on his knee and said, it doesn't matter if I say I'm your man. But it is only so that you can be my woman. Not to be your boss or whatever you think and this and that. Except that I see a mirror of me when I look at you. And then this and that and I want you because I see you the only one for me. This and that. And then he pull out the ring and then say, would you be my woman? And may I be your man? You see, and whatever you want me to be as a man, I will be. And then the woman cry and cry and cry and cry looking at him. And then just in the end, love conquers all. So that's what, that's the movie I wrote 10 years, 10, 12 years. I don't know if I was before I was a Muslim or while I was a Muslim, but I, maybe more than 10 years. Because I, when I became a Muslim, I stopped writing, I stopped everything. And that was like 12 years, 14 years ago, I don't know how long. So he, he, I wrote that script very long time. I forgot the name of it, the title I gave it, or did I even get to, to label it yet? But it's still in my mind because these things are unfinished projects, you see? Because I was not focused on money. I only wrote the script because I understood 15, 20 years ago why the woman become the man. What's going on? I already got it. And this is why I wrote the movie, to explain. To, because people learn, you know, they get programmed by TV and movies all the time. So I, I recognize the power in TV and movies and stuff like this. So this is why I, I chose to write books and and uh, movies and stuff like that. So we can teach through them or something. So my reflection is being frozen. I'm not sure if it is completely frozen. But on my end it is frozen, but I have other things showing me what's going on and what you see. So I'm gonna keep going. My screen is frozen. So for those who may have come and, and I don't see, so it's because my screen is so is frozen. The energy is heavy, shoot is frequency is powerful. So the thing is basically, this is what it is. Many of these women that are lost in the, into their own mind is because of the man thinking he's a man, but in reality he's not. So this is we it's easier to blame others because we are weak. It's easy to blame the woman who becomes a lesbian and say, Oh, with all these men out there, how can you? You only say that because you don't know who a man is. You were not raised by one. So we can't blame anyone. You see? But in reality, we are to be blamed the man. Because the woman cannot be a woman without the man. So we're not going to stay long. And this is what it is. This is the only thing we came to say. We just wanted to take heed. And I don't know if I went away from what Tilson was saying. I remember us to go back to that. You see, I went in the parenthesis for too long and almost lost, but thank you for reminding me. So the thing is like basically Till Swan said, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, I mean the divine feminine, you know, the man cannot, of course. I'm a man, only the woman. So what I'm doing being the voice is only to activate because the voice frequency and the truth frequency of the voice straight from the heart chakra is going to activate that feminine, that divine feminine into the woman. And then the woman herself will show what the, the divine feminine is. Abundance, love, truth, joy, everything. I'm not saying who she's supposed to be. Because she is a lesbian, because that's who she's supposed to be for the moment. Because it's survival game. Not because that's what she chose, but because that's what she has to be for the time being. So she is that that one who goes a prostitute because she has to provide one way or another in a world where everything becomes so toxic that she don't know what to do. There's no men out there providing any way for women unless that woman becomes either subservient or becoming another man or become a servant to what's killing us in the first place. So not every woman wants to do that. So that's why I don't judge the women for being either. 
I know it's just the same divine divinity working to different on different level, different capacity. Because if the man, the counterpart of it, is not being divine, then she cannot be divine. Because it takes two to play this game here. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I did tell her, let me go and make sure to read the exact words I put when I did share the thought. I don't know if I would be able to find it. But when she said that, I felt the need to say, because I recognized I was speaking on that, and then something like this may be understood in my words, that I think I know the woman more than the woman. But that wasn't my thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That wasn't my idea. So I had to make sure I bow to her right away. So she don't take my words like I'm trying to dictate what the woman is supposed to be. Now, you see what I'm saying? So I said to her, no one can, I, I wanted to read the exact thing, but I don't know if I can find it. You see? I don't think I will. You see? So, so the thing is, if I could, I would read the exact thing but that I said, but because I don't know if I could, because it was so on point and just brief, short, like just a simple sentence of submission. You see? So this is why I just say, no, the main mind is too logic. I remember a part of it, but not the whole thing. The main mind is too logic to understand the essence of, of, of the woman, specifically the divine feminine. So therefore, because of that, he cannot really tell who is who, what is what, when it comes to the women. Because we say it all the time. We make fun of the women all the time, saying they're so complex. What does men want? Simple. There's that and the other. What does women want? A whole list and, and go with. We know it. Because we're too stupid to even comprehend a bit of who the woman is. I only comprehend the woman because not only first by being raised by them, and then by giving them complete power over myself, one, uh, again, and then again by listening to them without judgment, that's another, and then by becoming one myself. When we say becoming the woman, we don't mean we change our our organs and stuff like this. We met within the heart and the mind. We act, we allow the feminine that is present within us to express itself loudly and without feeling some type of way or without caring about whatever a less than the men think or something like that. So the thing is basically, it's just that's how. You, to understand something, you are first to become it. You see? So, and want the sisters to understand that inside every man is a woman. And the only reason you see yourself being ridiculed and being oppressed by the men is only because it started within the man himself. He suppressed the woman in, in, in himself. So, of course, it's going to show because as it is within, so it is without. You see? So, that's what it is. So, we just wanted to make sure that we clear on that. That we know that when we say what we say, this is what we mean. You see? So the thing is basically, again, now, I didn't, I'm not here to say too much, and I'm pretty sure I already made it clear. And uh, I, Sister Daisy is with me here, uh, watching. Thank you for being here, Sister. I was just naming your name, and I, I summoned you for... <laughs> So what it is, is like, I don't know if you want to come on and say a few words, because you are the, the, the divine feminine, so I'm out of place, really. I'm doing my best. But with you guys among me, if you want to come, let me know, and I will pull you up to the screen, and then you can say a few words of advice to us, monkeys, the men pretending to be. Or you can say a few words to the females or the women or the divine feminine on the line. Let me know if you want to do that, <laughs> so I can pull you up, you see? 
me and Sister Daisy, or Sister Daisy and I, if I want to be cor grammatically correct, is that we have had a few shows before, but I remember I told her, we are always in agreement, but can people really learn from agreement to souls? All right, so she says, sure, so I'm bringing her forth. <laughs> you see, I always say to her, um, we have to speak on things and uh, be in disagreement, not faking it, but show our disagreement, like where we, where we go in disagreement so that we can learn together and help through the little disagreement or argument or whatever. Because argument is not wrong. It's not verbal fight. It's just seeking clarification. You see, I, I already pulled you, sis. I don't know if you can come through. But you just got to accept, I believe. And then you'll be able to come forth. Because let me try to call. Okay. Okay, I add you again. I don't know if you if you can see, basically, if he responds to you or not. But I keep trying to pull you. But I know my 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 my. Uh, let me you know what? Let me see if I can do a watch party. Maybe like this, it would be easier. Let me share. Okay, but I don't even see a way for watch party. Because I'm trying to pull you forward, but I can't, I don't know. Okay, I'll try again. I keep trying, trying to see if he works. Because I know so much technology going on around me, so it may, it may slow down the men, the men board. So it's all good in the phone and the tablets but not on the computer screen. So we'll keep trying, because when two collaboration, and this is why I handpick certain people to speak with, but most of them are stuck on money. One of them who was speaking a lot of truth, I'm not gonna say name, and I try to collaborate, because I understand the power is when two great minds come together, we can cut the time into half and achieve more. But she had a wife who say, you keep talking to people for free, so why you don't charge? So of course, the woman is thinking like a man. You see what I'm saying? It's like charge him. But I did not need someone to come sell something for me. I was not thinking about money. How can I pay you to come help when you say you care about the world? So I couldn't do that. You see what I mean? So I left it alone. And then some act I, I, I may have called the fourth, but they think, okay, I don't have enough followers. You see, because they are about following. I'm not saying it's wrong. I get why, I understand. I'm not saying I don't get it. But I'm just saying, you see. So because of the followers, they're following, they're looking at the matrix for what it is, not for what it, it is. So they fail to see greatness when it comes. So they don't understand why they should, because they don't care what you're talking about except that how much, how many people fight. So that's one another mistake. And then the others, then I stopped. And then the others too. Some of them are just, if I hold them so high, I want to keep them high. So I don't try to ask them. Because I don't want them to disappoint me. So I say, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to ask certain. certain. Those that I keep high in my, in, my, in my eye, I don't ask. You see, most of the time. Because I'm like, okay, I don't want to be disappointed. So let me keep the high thinking of them. So I don't. But the thing is like, I've been, we've been testing things, testing people all around. And this is why I can tell who's really a master, who's not. And some I, ch I choose not to test. You see? But that's how we know ourselves. How we know that we... All right, we are looking for someone to follow. For those who may see, oh, why are you testing? We are looking for someone to follow, someone to listen to, someone to take advice from. Because we need, we're here to learn. And everyone holds a piece to the puzzle we may not know. 
So how are we going to know who's on the truth, who knows who, who's the master over themselves? Because before you can become a master, you have to first master yourself. So how are we going to know who that is if we don't put that to test? You see? So that's what it is. And this is why knowing a master, because I recognize it in myself, so I know what to expect. So once I test, and then I would know for sure who the master is. Not by what they know, but by how they move. You see what I'm saying? Because master may, not, may know nothing, but the fool is full of knowledge. We have to understand that as well. So the thing is, I'm trying my best. Let me see. I really don't know what's going on, Sister Daisy. Maybe we have to do this uh, like we usually do. You see? Yes, I cannot pull you through, Sister Daisy. So maybe we're going to do it the way we do before, you know, another day or something because yesterday's speech destroyed my energy on indeed <laughs> after i spoken you know i lost a lot of energy because the spirit is what comes through to the voice and you taught me that eh? so basically it is true although he empowers the spirit the spirit becomes stronger but stronger means it's like putting more Capacity to a computer that can only handle less. Like the body now is gonna take the it's gonna take the toll on the body because the spirit may get strong with the voice or the throat chakra being in action, but the body is gonna pay the price <laughs> because it's limited. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I said today is to recharge. So if anything, by next week I can come again and um, you know. If anything needs to be said, because I only say what needs to be said. I go on the on, excuse me. I go online and then check to see what the people say. What am I saying? And they may, may misunderstand. And then from there, and then I know what to speak about. Because it's, I don't choose nothing. You choose what to speak about. You see? Yes, I'm. I'm still trying, Sister Daisy. Because what it is, it says, bring on camera. So I, I said, but that's probably because I'm not on the, the live is not directly from the, the phone. Because last time, although I had a little issue, but it happened. But for some reason, I cannot bring you in. That's probably because I'm not on, or you know. Or, you know what? I know how I can do that. Let me try something. What I'm going to do is basically I'm going to start a live on the phone and see I don't know if it's even pa oh, watch party okay I had to close it first all right I'm gonna start a watch party and then from there maybe I can pull you up all right invite all right sister Daisy I got I got another way let me pull you up all right, I got you right here. All right, that one should work. <laughs> okay, now you have to accept, I believe. Okay. No worries. Now you have to accept, I believe. Okay. Let me let me know if you if you see the invitation because I sent you an invitation. You just gotta accept. I don't know how the invitation works. If you're gonna just is if it's a video invitation. Yes. All right. So now let me see if I can co-host. Okay. There we go. All right. So now you should be able to come on because I put you as a co-host. Okay. So, I'm waiting to see if I see you. Because now you are co-host. Maybe you have to... I'm not sure.
I'm giving you some time to see like uh, if you can figure this out on your end. Because I, I, I just did everything on my end. Because Sister Daisy is someone, you know, people travel around the world, the women, to consult with her, to get her advice. Because she's someone who is always looking to be the better, the better version of herself. Okay. Um, all right. Sister Daisy says she don't think that's it. So uh, let me see. How can I do this? I don't get it, Sister Daisy. I really don't get it. Now, you were my co-host. Now, I don't even see you as the co-host anymore. Let's try again. Let me try it again. Because maybe when you invite, he has to open, the, the camera is supposed to open, and then you have to be like you're having a conversation or something with me. So please accept again. For one last time, we're going to try this last time to see maybe if I'm the one that made a mistake. Or something. And as you accept, I would just press again to see if. It's... Oh, okay. Sister Daisy. Yeah, you see now, you hear it was me. It was my mistake, I guess. Okay. No, now you. I believe you're gonna have to press your camera. You see how he has a video next to your next to your picture? So that's that's your camera. You press that and then he's gonna ask you to activate your camera and then the, you say okay and then your camera will turn on. I believe. Because I just did that and then he asked me to activate my camera. Speaking, you bored? Yes, sis. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, that's how I saw we could have done it. Cause I press and I see you tell me pull up camera. The boys are calling you. I think I'm disturbing the light. Okay, it didn't work. Because when I press mine, when I press the, my picture as an invite, it says turn on camera. So, yeah, but that's going to be my camera. Yeah, that's how I saw Yeah. Okay. So we do, like you say, we do that some other time. We'll talk about something. Because we tried and it did not work. But it would have been beautiful if you could come on and say a few words of advice. You see? So, um, yeah, basically. Or do I turn on my camera? Should I try to? Let me see if I should try my camera. Yeah. So I turn my camera, but it's still the same thing. Because I see mine, I come on, but I don't know why you can't come on, though. I don't know why. Because mine is on right now. I don't know if you can see, but it's on right now. So, um, yes, it works for me, but I don't know why it's not working for you. Because yours shows that you have the video capacity to come on, but for some reason it's not, not coming on. Oh, okay, you don't have the option. Maybe you on computer, because on the computer it doesn't have the action. You have to be on phone, or I don't know which phones you use and stuff like this. So I can't really tell. All right, sis. So thank you for even uh, trying. Uh, we appreciate you. So anyway, we always collaborate. Uh, you see, then we will continue to. But on your iPhone, so same thing. <laughs> you should be able to, sis. So uh, yeah. That's the thing. 
All right. So one thing we can do is, uh, um, yes, like you say. So since we don't want to keep people too long, so we're going to do that, you know, some other. Because I have other ideas like the Zoom regular, so I have to go start Zoom and connect it, do this, do that. So I say, you know, we cannot have people hold for so long. So that's what it is. And uh, so, so we promise to come again with Sister Day in collaboration one day and do another live because we haven't done that for a while now. So the thing is basically, this is what it is. And I, I basically told uh, Till that, you see, the main mind, you see, it's, it's too logical to, to really grasp the divine feminine. So, okay, you go in live later, I'll be there to Sister Daisy. Thank you. So, um, so the thing is basically, um, you see, it's, it's, I'm not trying to say, say okay, what it is, because I know what it is. If, if she didn't say that to me, for me to correct my words or to further elaborate on my words, you know how it is. The ego will take those words and then be like, okay, oh, that's not the divine feminine. No, kill the women that are twerking. Kill this, kill that. But it is all the feminine. You see? It's not to tame or trying to tame the divine feminine because we are only but the sons. You see, a lot of things we judge the women on are just what the women is, the women are. You see, there's different aspects of the divine feminine. You see? So it is complex. If it's complex to men, it is also complex to even the women that don't know who they are. You see what I'm saying? So that's why who are we to judge, basically? Except that what the men can only know themselves and be that divine masculine. And then, of course, once you are that, then whatever you see outside of you is going to be the divine counterpart. You see? So that's what it is, guys. So I did not mean to hold for too long today. And uh, this is why we just, you know, it's only a short thing we can do to say, to correct our words and to further elaborate, take on the advice of the sisters that told us, you see, I mean, though what we are saying may not be wrong, but it is proven throughout time that something is said that is good, but the way we understand it may not be as good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? As a divine feminine, give the woman the power to control the world. But like Sister Daisy said, what woman are you talking about? You have to be specific. He said the one that forgot herself, who's, the, who's not proud to be herself, who completely destroyed the, that part of herself. or is Because he can only be the one that is, that is you see, the, with the soft heart. You see, the one who is loving. You see, the one that is nurturing. The one that don't feel better when she can earn the money, but feel better when she can teach those children. You see what I mean? That's the divine feminine. Not that the divine feminine cannot be running the, 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 the industries. That's not what we're saying. Because as obviously, a king never go to work. Well, the queen may be the one with different type of business or different type of places to speak. Just like you see President Obama when he was president, he may have been doing certain things, but it is his wife that go around in the schools and give speeches and making sure to motivate the youth and do this, do that. Because she's the one doing the, the other work, where in fact him is just on his office signing things or sometimes give a few, you know, appearance here and there. You see what I'm saying? And then nature teaches that because the woman herself in, in nature, I think it's among the lions or something. It is the, 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 the lioness that go and hunt. You see? And then again, in, in that cartoon I watch, because I watch the children's movies because they have a lot to teach. Uh, I didn't. I never went to, to, to Alaska. I don't know about uh, penguins. But I watched that movie about the penguins dancing or something like this, where you see the female went for, to, to seek uh, for the food and the male were the ones with the, with the baby eggs. Nature teaches us that so we don't go with that lopsided situation thinking, oh, the man is the provider. Thinking provider is, mean, is a little understanding that we get of provision. You don't have, to, the provider doesn't mean you, do, you have to go flip the burgers. The provider, you can be the one that sit home and come up with the idea of the business that's going to provide the things. That's still provision. You don't have to really get your hand dirty to be the part of it. 
the one who the idea, the one who came and built the, 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 the buildings to stop fruition. The one, it's more than what the lesser, the, the, obviously now that you know what a man is, that to the, the, you see what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Things are not that simple. Then this is why I even want to speak because I see, okay, if it can be complicated in, into my own mind, imagine what it can do to someone who is raised by someone who don't know themselves. You see what I'm saying? I was fortunate enough to not have had a father or no mother to teach me certain things. So that's why I see, I say fortunate enough. Why I've just saved a, 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 a child's life now who may have their parents not in their life, they're in foster care, wishing they had a mother, wishing they had a father. Now they see someone who's speaking with power, with wisdom and stuff like this, and letting them know that, okay, sometimes, and I do say that to children that are in foster care all the time, sometimes your parents not being with you may be the, a blessing in disguise. You see what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. It's not about you know, turning things into evil, like, they, oh, it's wrong, all that, no. There's something good in everything, just like the yin and the yang. In the bad, there is some good, you see? And the good, there is some bad. It's us that have to stop being perverted and then keep on seeing things in one way. But what do we expect with such minds, right? So that's what it is. And now that I fix that, and I don't want to stay too long, let me see if there's anything... After you say when females, okay, that's what I've been saying as well. Yes, sister, sister Vivi, and totally crying because it's true for me. Yes, sister Vivi, I know. <laughs> Thanks for being honest, though, because I know they've been trying to make us feel bad for crying sometimes, right? So to the point where we think strength is when you never cry, which I myself thought the same because, because I never cry, I thought I, I could be proud of that. But who wants to be without emotions, without feelings? That's a robot. Because I recognize I shouldn't try to be a robot. If you don't cry, like it's, it's not the action, it's the intention. Make your intention because you don't, you understand what's going on, so you don't need to cry. Not because you think you're strong or something. Because there's strength in crying too. You see, and uh, this is why it's, 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 it's so sad. Like, we, we, we try to turn ourselves into robots. And this is why the sister, when she said yesterday that uh, the, the heart becomes hard, and sometimes you may touch a heart and it's hard, and it's not really the heart you're touching. It's the heart in a shell. There's a difference. A hard heart and a heart in a shell. You see what I mean? The heart in the shell, though when you touch it, it's hard, because you're touching the shell, but it's inside that shell is the true heart feeling and do that, except that it's protecting itself because no one can receive what it is, the love that it is, you see? But the hard heart cannot love, we cannot feel, we cannot, you see, it's a different thing. And sometimes, you know, we say things because they're easy said, but there's more to things. All right, I care about joy and beauty and creativity and feeding people and plants and things and making things feel strong and beautiful in the environment, creating space every second for nurture. Indeed, thank you for that, Sister Daisy. That, I mean, Sister Vivi. This is what the woman stands for. All that is good. You see? So, and this is why before I finished too, when I still didn't say what Sister Daisy ordered me to say in, in reality. So the thing is like, basically, it's just... It's the balance. Why did the women fail? And this is why I wanted to bring her on. Why did the women fail? It's because, like I said, they became their oppressor. This is why I keep telling people and for those, and I'm not judging you for those that may hear me. When I say it's love that will win, how can we love our oppressors? What are you talking about? Anyone saying to love is because the religion does not. It's because there's no power in moving in feelings, one, and then there's no power when you become the oppressor. Because the only reason you have the power to get rid of your oppressor is because you are oppressed. So therefore the oppression, being oppressed, gives you power. But when you become the oppressor, you take away your power and give it back to the one who was oppressing you before. When in fact maybe he's already evolving or learning from his mistakes, and then now you become him. 
And this is why I say you can't follow anyone unless they're teaching you unity, regardless of colors, creed, whatever it is. Whatever I say, if I say it, I have a reason to say it. I know why I say it. And if anyone comes against it, whatever you get, you get. Because you may get me bowing to you if you write, but you will not feel good too when the truth tells you that, no, you didn't say the right thing. The bigger you felt of yourself, the smaller you're going to feel after the truth shows you your, your, your weaknesses or your limits. So this is the thing. You see, when I say it's love that conquers, because there's no, look, the feminist movement is only becoming the, the oppressor, because she wants to oppress the men. She wants to get rid of the men. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's the thing, that because they are, they're so oppressed by the men that they became, the, the, what do you do when you become so weak to become that person? Do you understand? Have you ever watched the movie The Matrix? When you overcome by the agents, meaning you become obsolete, you completely erase out of the picture, you're not yourself no more. Now you became the oppressor, meaning the agent took over your vessel, it becomes you now. So now who do we destroy? The oppressor who is evolving, or do we destroy the male with all the potential that thinks the wrong thought? You see what I'm saying? Because if you becoming the oppressor, thinking, okay, it's about that, but Mother Earth don't give a fuck about whatever we talk about, about our feelings or whatever it is, nor the universe or anything that exists. It's only about the truth, period. That's it. You see? So, yes, I understand how easily it is to take the most obvious route, the most obvious solutions. I know. Yes, because I thought also maybe we need to get rid of this, we need to get rid of that. But the best we can do is to get rid of the oppressor that we become inside our own selves. And then everything outside of ourselves is going to take it. We're going to see everything working properly. Because every day that I come, the only reason I keep speaking is because every time I speak, I see where everything that I want to do, everything I want to see. Because I recognize power in speech. You see, but I do not speak. With knowing the power of speech, just to come and poop on myself, to say shit that has no point of, to be, of being said. And this is why Einstein was so right when he said, the problem of the world is not those that are just doing the wrong. It's not the oppressor that is the problem only. You see what I'm saying? Because what happened? Why, why, how, can, how did we become or how did they come about, the oppressor? So who's at fault? All of this has to happen in the, in the mind when you're seeking to judge. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is like, the, when the Einstein say, it is not, it is not really the oppressor or the ones that are doing the ill. It's the ones that can do the good and then they sit back instead and do nothing about it. You see what I mean? So when we come and just do what the oppressor do, then we're not doing anything new, anything different. It's not really, we're not doing anything. Doesn't mean we don't have to fight if we need to fight. That's not what that means. I know I have to explain that too because if you, if I have to explain it, therefore you need to be, you know, told what it is. I know this is why I say books are dangerous. You see what I mean? Because yes, you get the knowledge, but do you understand what you just got? You see what I mean? So to get you to understand, it's not about okay, oh, love. No, you have no idea the power of love, though. You have no idea how destructive love can be. Like Sister, they, Sister Vivi said it today. I give a man a chance and you go, I give you my love and you mess with it, then therefore you get whatever it is, the hell, the hellish one. You get Helen. You see what I mean? Keeping it real. Because it's that same love that can nurture you, that can make you feel at home, that can make you regret you ever existed. That's that same love, not, not, a, not a different one from a different will. It's the same one, capable of both. Nothing is just like, I, I'm all good, you are bad. And nah, that love too has its evil side. It's, it's, but the evil is not bad though. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's just what it is. It's, it's, it's irresponsible. You see what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. You see, we have to understand things. That's why we say, you know, yes, we, a lot of us think we know or something like this. But when I hear or when those who know really hear, then we only hear bullshit. 
Yes, you may have millions of followers, but what do they know? You see what I'm saying? That's why I say, okay, how can I take as master someone who only go about the followers? Because I, that's why I put these codes out there. Following. As higher as you go, the lesser the numbers. I'm saying these things on purpose. You're just not listening. You see what I'm saying? Don't go by numbers when you're dealing with a true master. Because not everyone can stand the truth. They will run from truth. Like a brother who's dear to me now, uh, Dynamo Jack, mentioned, I think he shared yesterday that something about, you know, when the fake ones, when those who don't like to face themselves come to him, they run from him. Why? Because he's, he's being will. So when he's being will, unless you are will one, you cannot stand being the, in, 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 in face of a will. You see what I'm saying? You have to run. That's the thing. That's why the numbers can never apply for the, for the ones as, as you go higher. Why? Because truth, not everybody can handle that. They have yet to learn. They have yet to evolve to that degree where their heart is strong enough to take truth. So how the hell am I going to expect me speaking having a bunch of people? No, I can't. Unless I'm trying to be politically correct, of course. But I do most of the time. You see, but sometimes I do need to come with it 100 too. Because only the true truth can really heal. It's only when we speak that truth that we are afraid of that is going to really, any things will happen in no time. You see what I'm saying? So everything we say, that's why I say not to be cocky, but I understand if in you when you say something you are being cocky, regardless of when you lie saying you're not trying to be, but just to it. Think that I'm trying to be cocky already says that you are the one when you speak being cocky. You don't even understand. So this is the only reason why you think that is because you recognize it in yourself. So I have to understand that you're not talking to me. You see, except that you're telling me where you are. And this is why I always have to watch my mouth and make sure I explain before I even speak. Because I, when you speak, I don't take it to heart because I know this is something on yourself. So the thing is basically, is that when I say the stuff I say, I really choose my words wisely. I know what I'm saying. And I'm the one, I only say I'm, I will not speak unless I know what I'm talking about. Is for a purpose, I say that. Because words are chosen for a reason. Not everybody's a fool just speaking words because they, they learn English in, 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 in kindergarten or something. No. Some people understand what words are. You see what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I'm going to say something, but a lot of people are going to take at me on the, on the level thinking I'm just speaking because I need something to do. <laughs> I'm an artist. I always have something to do. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing. Artist mind is the crazy mind because it's never tamed. It's always wild, running rampant. You see what I'm saying? That someone who's always thinking about music, art, there's that. If you're not creating it, I'm enjoying it. That's just the way I am. You see what I'm saying? So I, do, I always have something to do. You see what I'm saying? So that's why when people tell me they're bored, I don't understand. I don't know why. I, I, I don't get it. How can you be bored? Every day I live, I feel like there's not enough time in the day. The hours are not enough. That's why you will find me going to bed so late and want to wake up very early or something. You see what I mean? Because like, and then the more I wake up early, the more I, the time go faster. So what's the point? <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm having that fight in my head every day. But you just don't get it. You see what I mean? So we here for, for not for ourselves, people that, that stands for truth. We here for everyone. For ourselves and those that, that, that we need to get the understanding so that we can all be happy together. It's not that it's not the same as you thinking in, in, in business or a corporation. Like, okay, it's dog eat dog. Okay, I have to step on your shoulders to get where I'm going or kick you off the curb because I'm beside you and so I can, you know, get ahead. Or, that's not the same thing when we're dealing with what you're hearing right now. It's the whole the, the things don't apply. I mean if you never really get connected to your feminine self. You are always that manly man, then you have a lot to learn right now. Because this is the world of the women. <laughs> and the, the, the feminine energy is here. The, 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 you know what I mean? 
it's, it's tired of that nonsense. You see the children trying to control mother. You see what I mean? You need to be tamed. So uh, if you're not in alignment in your own self, in your, with your own energies, then you are going to feel out of place. And this is why we may feel threatened by the homosexual men. But me, that's why I can hate them. I have to even say, okay, I'd rather not be a Muslim than hating the man for his sexual preference. Why? Because I understand there's a reason behind why he chose this route. I get it. I'm not someone to judge. I'm someone to, to analyze. This is who I am. So I can hate him when I'm feeling love for him. You see, I see me in him because that's the divine feminine or the feminine in expression. <laughs> you see what I mean? He may be like on a different angle because he's not, it's coming from another angle and because like we don't get, but it is what it is. You see, I'm not going to hit. I'm not, I would maybe hit a homosexual man based on what I would hit a heterosexual man, but not because of who is fucking or stuff like that. Because that's not my business. That's his privacy. You see what I'm saying? And this is what we're saying all the time. You see what I'm saying? Just like uh, uh, Dr. King said, do not judge men by the surface. Judge them by the content of the characters. That doesn't go only for the colors. It goes for every differences we see on the planet. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter for the sexual preferences, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Even the one who choose that to stay within his own family. Like, okay, I only want to date white because I'm white. I want to date black because I'm black. We shouldn't feel threatened by that, calling it racism, because that's not racism. Because as we can see, there was a time that you can tell the people by the tribe and you can tell the tribe by how they look like, the traits. Why? Because they stay amongst themselves. They don't change and they don't mix with anyone else, except within the same. That's why they all look alike. They, if they may have different shape of faces, long face, but if, if the main trait is thick eyebrows, you're going to see them all with thick eyebrows. And once you see that thick eyebrows, you know where they come from. Same last name. So what's wrong with the person wanting to be with their own? Nothing wrong with that. You see what I'm saying? But if it's going beyond saying I'm better or this is becoming toxic, then it may be a problem. Then now you have to be the best version of you to be an example. You see what I'm saying? But everything happens for a reason. You see, we have to try to understand things instead of pointing fingers saying, we perfect you bad because you did this or you are that or something. It's stupidity. That's not how women deal with those things. You see what I'm saying? That's not how the divine feminine deal with things. And this is their time now. This is, it's it always been has been, but you wanted to lead and they allow you. To, just like I do all the time, even to the children. I would let you do just with me. Remember, you deal, when you deal with me, think of dealing with God. Because you will get what you wish for. So be careful what you wish for. You see what I mean? Oh, you want to go do this? All right. Uh, what, do you want to know what I think about doing this? Or do you already made up your mind? Because <laughs> trust me, I would laugh if you fell. You see what I mean? I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm cold hearted too. You see, because I felt like oh, you learn your lesson. Of course I'm going to laugh. You see what I mean? So now you're better now. That's why I laugh. I don't care what you feel. You see? And I may say sorry and hug you because I laugh, but I'll make you explain. I'll explain to you why I laugh and you laugh with me. You see? Because everything you do can be explained. You see what I mean? For those that, it, that deserve to know. For those that, that is, is their business, you see? So the thing is what? It's basically... There's reason for everything. You get what you what you wish for, like I like I tell them. You see, you if you wish to do something, I ask you, okay, do you want to know what I think about this? Since I'm older and I'm the parent, or have you may already made up your mind? Because I'm not raising slaves, I'm not raising uh, punks. I'm raising masters and of selves. So you can only learn by experiencing. But since I'm here with experience before, you can trust my judgment. Do you want to know my judgment? Oh, no, no, that's okay. I know what I'm doing. All right, then. Then you see. Go ahead. And then you fell. That's it. That's how I am. You see what I'm saying? But if you say, okay, but do you think it's right? Or would you think I should not? Then I'll give you my advice. But I'm not going to force my advice onto you. The only reason I come here and speak 
It's because I recognize the need for me to speak. You see, I would not say a word if I didn't see its need to be said. It's just anyone who knows me knows that about me. Some people I go about life at work working for many years with some people. When they finally heard me speak in some type of party, I'm invited or something like this, they're like, yo, I thought this nigga was mute, son. That's what they said. <laughs> you see, I mean, I thought this nigga was mute. Yo, he speaks. You know what I mean? Because I'm always quiet. I'm always smiling, yeah, but I'm always quiet. I only speak when I need to, especially when I recognize that I'm among stupid. You will find me acting foolish unless I'm among masters. If I'm with masters, I'll be like a child playing around acting foolish because I know they, they're not judging me. But if I'm among the fool, then I'm not going to push them to be more foolish than they are because they don't know where to stop. <laughs> they may go out of hand. And this is why some people will think, okay, he's too, too strict. But some will be like, strict? Then you may not be talking about the same person. This guy is so funny. He's so foolish. He's this, is that. I'm all that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I say some people thought when I say, okay, I, I wanted to come this year and be myself, be, show the funny self. And then they thought they can come to tell me, oh, <clears throat> always be yourself. You see what I mean? But I am that self too. It's not, I'm not saying I'm just one being. I'm a multi-dimensional being. We are. So I'm just saying this is the self I want to project because that's what I have not given to the world. But that doesn't mean this is who the only one I am. You see what I'm saying? I am whatever I need to be. I'm a father when I have children that need a father. I'm a friend to the same children that I'm a father to when they need to play. You see, I'm the fool to make them laugh. I'm the clown. Sometimes I'm that father who's put his foot down and then yell and make them cry. I am. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we have to understand. We have to stop thinking so small, thinking everything fits in the bottom. You see what I mean? That's why we have so much to learn, but until someone speaks truth to you, how are we going to ever get to the new world with a better mind, set to create it, when we stop on stupid or on money? You see what I'm saying? The thing is, again, this is why I share certain people. Sister Des' work, Brother Sevan, Boma. Like Dynamo Jack, when they speak, Till Swan, many people that are trying to share their ashe, ashe, ashe. Many people that are trying to share their expertise, their understanding, their wisdom, are come and share. Because it's not about, okay, I want to shine. <laughs> it's about, let's do this thing. Because we are all shiners. We are all stars anyway. So what's the point? The minute that you say, oh, I should be the star, then you already say you will not a star. You see, I mean, I recognize that I am. We are all sons already, stars, little stars. That's why you make, you're taking, like, the sky is your limit. That's why you say, I want to be the star, because you see one star in the sky. You see what I mean? So you, your world is not beyond the dome. You see what I mean? But when you go beyond the dome at night with your, with your view, what do you see? Plenty of stars, infinite of stars. You see what I'm saying? So we have to go beyond what we see sometimes so that we can just stop wanting to be the one. You see what I'm saying? There's no need. Let's just focus on the collective. Let's do what we're supposed to do. It's not about, okay, I want to be this, I want... Like I said, okay, I know for sake of um, um, whatever structure, no one is saying, okay, no new world there has to be a head. What do we call heads in the ancient world? The king, right? So I say, I put myself on the, on the seat of, of the kingdom, on the throne, until the king comes and then I bow and give him his seat. But until then, somebody got to sit there because everybody is already taking their place. They want to be this. Some want to be the one leading the, bringing new schools. Some want to be the one teaching that, doing that. I see, okay, it's happening. You see what I mean? So now, what have you seen in yourself? Okay, I've seen nothing but the head. So I say, okay, that's it. But what is the head? The head has different things. The eyes, that's that the eye, although they're part of the head. But when we say the head, there's different people connected to the head. Those that are the eyes to know how to see without being fooled. <laughs> you see, those that are the mouth to speak truth into existence, even if it stands against them. 
those that are the nose, those that are the ears, those that are the eyebrows, whatever, or even within the head, the brain, and the different aspects of the brain, the different chambers, the different this, all part of the head, you see. So we are thinking at, based on the blueprint, not just on the surface level that most people keep thinking sometimes or something. You see, everything is here. But I understand we have to speak in order to let things be. So there's nothing to look for. We are here. You see what I'm saying? Every one of you on the line, the only reason you're on the line is because in your heart, you recognize the power in yourself. You know the truth. You know what it is. And then you hear. You see, nothing new. This is why you are here. You need it. You hear. You are the one to do that work. You see what I'm saying? That's what it is. All right, guys. It's ended a beautiful time indeed. Let me see again. Um, females and males come into balance with one another. All right. And uh, today, see. Okay, the computer keeps on going. Within the being, okay, Sister Day is spoken. She said, within the being is the potential to be the provider. If you look at most animal, including humans, the provider is the female. Indeed. Thank you, Sister Day. See, the reason that you see there's no abundance is because the male has a, a, a role in provision. But in us both exist the male. So how much of the provision that the man, is the man going to just be completely the provider or the woman has a role in it? You see, I'm not going to tell you what to do, what to think, but I'm just putting the codes in your mind to understand what Sister Days is saying right now. So when you see, you see scarcity is because you allow too much of the male aspects of provision to come forth. You see what I'm saying? So the man is not able to create abundance, obviously. <laughs> So now you letting him being too much of, unless a man can provide, he's not a man. Then now you have what you got. You see what I'm saying? Don't you have to understand? You see, the woman, yes, they should teach us that. Like Sister Daisy say, this is just the way it works. We have to pay attention to our surroundings, like the Quran say. Around you is lessons for you, if you pay mind. You see, those who think, Allah say, I love those who think. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I was saying. It's, that's what I say. You know, I'm not worried. I could. I would rather choose a woman who, who, who have no money, but I have a rich mind, than looking for a, for a woman with a lot of money but a poor mind. I know why I say that. All this is to unlock certain truth outside of you, whether you don't get it consciously but subconsciously. I know I'm getting you somewhere because it's true. You see what I'm saying? That's why I speak whether I know you will understand or not, but I make sure to choose my words wisely. You see what I'm saying? To at least, even if you don't get it consciously, but to the heart I speak. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it is. It's not about, okay, there's blah, blah, blah. No. It's, it's to what degree, like the cake I say again, the cold. It's You may have the formulas, a man and a woman in a home, but they are fighting for money. Why? Because... Though you have the formulas, you have the, 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 the proper ingredients, but you're putting too much of one and too little of the other. Then you cannot have a perfect cake. You understand? And I don't know how to explain it because the men are too proud because that's all they have to offer and I'm trying to take it away from them. But I'm not doing that for the sake of you. I'm doing that for the sake of abundance. <laughs> Something that's greater. You see what I'm saying? That's all. Thank you, Sister Daisy, because when you hear it from a woman, uh, a divine feminine at best, so you cannot disagree now if you are true men. You see what I mean? Check out the lions, bees, and many human cultures, the female hunt and forage. Thank you. That's why the danger when you speak, I, when I spoke in it, I understood the danger for the ego to want to be home lazy and allow the women to be out there. I get it why the women sometimes don't get it. I don't get why the men don't sometimes, but I can get it why the women. Because some women may let their men be just for the sake of having a little someone to, to hug up on at night. But when they come home, all he does is play video games or cheat or do whatever stupidity or something like that. That's why I say you have to know who you're dealing with. 
you can't make the rules based on who you're dealing with. Know what it is. You see what I'm saying? Your man may not seem like a man that can contribute when he's not at work, but some men contribute more to the family than they are that when they were selling themselves for two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars an hour out there. Because really, money is not everything. Money is just a moment. It's just a, for survival. Surviving scarcity into abundance. That's what money is supposed to be. But it's not supposed to be the trap or the goal or the, the, the limits, the dome over the sky. It's not. You see what I mean? So if anything was said, I said I thank Sister Daisy for this. Because I've been trying to say this, but the more I say it, the more the men feel like, Oh, you say that? No, no. Nah. They don't get it. But I understand because remember, I have a man inside me too. So so I know where you're coming from. I get it. But I know you need to, to, to vibrate higher. I know you need to understand bigger. Because the children, the more we are showing them what a man is, the more they are feeling that they surpass, 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 us, surpass us in manhood. Why? Because a lot of things, let's say you money was your goal as a man or you felt proud to be the provider as a man going to work and bring the bread. And then now he was, what, $100,000 a year. And now you have a son at 15 bringing a million a year. So how do you who do you think is going to feel like the bigger man? So now he want to, ah, dad, what are you talking about? <laughs> I make a million, you made a hundred dollars. Obviously, dad, you know who the man is in the house. <laughs> You did that to yourself. This is why I'm saying I'm saving you from you. But you don't know it. That's why a true friend, you have no idea how rare that is. Because only the few can handle it. A true friend. Most of us can only handle fake friends. Those that are applause our demise. But in reality, we hate them because we know in ourselves, we're not fooling ourselves. Why are they clapping except that they're making fun? They're going to talk shit about us. That's why we can trust those friends that we hang out with. But we are creating that world for ourselves. That's the best we can do for ourselves. Because we're too weak to handle the real one, the real friend. That will tell us the truth in our faces, causing us not to fall in that ditch. But most of us run from it. That's why when the truth comes, you want to run. Because it stands against your little understanding or whatever belief you had. Or whatever you stood on as your pride or something like this. It's come and crumble it and shook, you, shook it from under you. But that's, it doesn't mean to hurt you. It means to make you, help you grow. All right. As you guys know, I can talk. <laughs> so let's just uh, shut it off. Um, thank you for everyone who showed Sister Daisy. Thank you for being very, uh, you know, like... You know, giving us your mind, basically being talkative in the chat because your words were powerful indeed. As well as Sister Vivi, we thank the Divine Feminine for always supporting us. Because I say even, if I can, I can tell you there's a woman that also sometimes come among us that called me and then we spoke and then she wanted to invest whatever amount of money that I wanted in whatever idea I had. You see, I could have jumped and take it. But I wanted to hold on because I didn't even want to receive the money. And there was no line of how much it was going to be. Name your price. You see what I'm saying? And she was willing to invest her own money. And without expecting return. That's why I say, like Christ said in the Bible, do not worry about what you eat and what you wear when you with truth. If you have to stay without eating, you best believe the universe is only trying to shake some parasites out of you, forcing you to fast. Not because the universe cannot provide. <laughs> you have to trust sometimes. You see what I mean? So that's why when I speak, I know. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. There's no worries where truth is. You see? Sister Farah, thank you. Sister Fugier, thank you for being among us. And uh, also Paul, uh, you know, everyone, because of my computer, cousin Mark, Mark Lee, thanks for being among, among us. Joshua, <laughs> I spoke of you earlier. I said for what you shared of, of Sadhguru earlier. Because Sadhguru, I, although I don't listen, I recognize I don't listen to these brothers enough. Because to me, you know, I'm thinking, okay, let's be. Instead of keep on looking for, to, to learn or whatever, let us be. But sometimes we do need to take those that people reveal 
listen and then just regurgitate their words because since you listen to this man and you trust this man, he said that too. So why not? Now I give you no excuse not to listen. So the thing is, we thank you, Brother Josh, for sharing what you shared earlier and then I also shared it. Thank you for that because you made a big difference in, 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 in bringing abundance. So you guys, it's Saturday, it's beautiful out there, although the sun is going down because I decided to give the time to you instead. So thank you for being here, always an honor. You know, you guys have fun. Namaste. Hi, Bobo. Bonus. You see, enjoy yourself, enjoy your Saturdays, and you see, have fun. And we, we promise you, me and Sister Daisy and I, we will think of a way, you know, or when the time fits to come again in collaboration and then just have a little masculine, feminine discussions in front of your eyes where no one is hurt, where no, where no one ego is in charge, where you can see that disagreement can be without feeling any ill, you see, if there need to be any disagreement, of course. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, like, uh, we thank you for being here, and it's always a pleasure. I love you guys to a degree that you won't even understand, because I love myself. You see what I'm saying? And uh, thank the one who always say it, nature boy. You see, always saying, I love myself. And I'm saying that to the degree that I love myself so much that I can only but love everyone around me or everything. So this is why we say, you know, we cannot start a new world on hate because this nation is failing because it started with hate. So why would we become the oppressor? This is why Prophet Prabhu Juali, may he rest in peace, he said, you know, we need to learn to love instead of hate. Yes, even to the point of loving your oppressors. It's not the love to, to just bend over and let them bang you. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Is being if we have to stand against them, we're gonna do this it, not because we're feeling some type of way, but because this is what we need to do. You see what I'm saying? That's the way it is. You see? So thank you again, guys. Have fun. Enjoy your uh, Saturday evening, and one day we will come together and enjoy each other's um, energy. One day, my dream for the moment, for the day that we're speaking right now is. To rent a place, have Sister Daisy and her band come play, where I invite everyone that is on the line and everyone that was ever there, and then we enjoy your music as we sip wines or tea, whatever we drink or something like this, and talk great talks amongst each other, looking good, smelling good, and vibing together. If it's a good idea, let me know if you're with it and let's make it happen. Tell me how you can help. All right, beautiful thing. Let's start building. Everything is already happening. Sister Daisy is in a tribe where they're moving forward with crypto, their own crypto, mindful coin, their own thing. Now we just gotta think about my my ideal, as you know, last year was about the our own village, everywhere, not only one part of the world. Whoever agree with the chosen uh, idea that I was giving, it means if you Jamaican, the same idea, I, I just wanted to start the blueprint to show you how, how, what I mean, with Haiti, and this is why the sister wanted to, to provide the money to help that, but I didn't want to put the burden on, 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 on her, because I don't know how much she got, but you know how I am, I'm thinking, you know, like I don't want to be too, taking too much from someone, when everybody is going to benefit, you see what I'm saying? So... That we wanted to have the village where when you travel, at least instead of staying in someone's hotel and then where you're next to someone who's very arrogant or a lot of nonsense may happen in that hotel, then you, you have a place where serenity and beauty and love is, is present. Even the people are serving in white and barefooted in, within the, uh, nature by the waters or something. A beautiful place to enjoy. You see what I'm saying? So that's why that, that was the idea. I was thinking about the village as they are talking about technology, thinking about new ways and new money. And they say everybody is dealing with a level of the things because I know we need our own place to come and heal, of course. So I had to be thinking about the village. And this is what I was trying to sell, basically. It's still standing. I can do, I will do it no matter how long it takes. But they may not be able to provide for everyone because I, I did it my way on my myself. But this is for everyone. You can go to Haiti and go to that place and enjoy 
and feel like a queen, like a king, and feel safe. You walk around bare tops, you feel okay. No judgment. Nobody gives a fuck. You see what I'm saying? This is just you. You came to no pennies on, although you may have a long skirt if you choose to. You sit right there on the ground, and then just so you can suck in the energy of the earth from that part of the earth, because Haiti is very sacred. We just need to bring the children there so that we can connect to the sacredness of, of the mother. You see, because there's part of the earth that are sacred. We need to build from these places. You see what I'm saying? A lot will happen if we recognize where to start. Because even the church, we're thinking we're smarter than them. But they go with the ley lines. They go where to build their churches. They go, they know. You see what I'm saying? So we have to start thinking like them. We may reject certain things they do, but who's perfect? Accept whatever they do that is right. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. The thing too is like, you see, like I said, the idea from now, I just had it, but I don't know who it's coming from. It's just that I want to have Sister Daisy and her band playing. I mean, I mean Sister Vivi, Alensi playing with her band, where we will accommodate her, even having to give them something, you know, for their time and the pleasure that we uh, had, although whatever we gather will be for that. And then also the money will go towards renting a place where she can come and play or whatever. And then after inviting everyone, we can. We can do it in different places where she will express her music, give it to the world. And then everyone in every part of the world will get to meet each other because we are the same. We are one, we are vibrating the same. Let's meet in person. These ideas are for that. You see, in New York, those that come on the line in New York, or those that have the money to travel to New York, they can come and listen to her there. And those that couldn't, we can bring her into her, their city and stuff like this. And then there we go, everybody's getting what they want and everybody's vibing, everybody's loving and getting everything they need. The ideas are there, except who's speaking, you see? All right, guys, I love you. I'll just, yeah, I don't want to continue. So it's done. Thank you for listening. Have a good weekend. Hi, Bobo. Live, love, laugh, and learn. Find your ears. Band.